How will you convert ethanol into the following compounds? What is ethanol? You know, ethanol is CH3CHO. Please look into the product, all of you. Butane 1,3-diol. Your starting material is ethanol. Ethanol means uh, CH3CHO. But your product is but. But mean, you know, total 4 carbon, right? They are all. If you want to double the number of carbon in the aldehyde, the technique is aldol condensation. The reaction is aldol condensation because you know during aldol condensation we are mixing two same aldehyde. Your aldehyde is ethanol here. You have to convert into but. So eth plus eth but. Two plus two four. Correct. So ethanol. Let me mix with one more ethanol. Dear student, let us go for aldol condensation with a dilute base NaOH. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. Listen to the point. From the second compound, take one of the alpha hydrogen and transfer into this oxygen. Make it as OH and connect this to carbon atom. Okay, let me write the product. CH3, CHOH, single bond. This is CH2, right? CH2 and CHO. This is the compound we are getting. But 1,3-diol. They are all... Here this compound contain only one alcohol, but the product contain one three diol. First and third position two alcohol. So I want to convert this aldehyde into alcohol. How we can convert that aldehyde into alcohol? By reduction, right? We can use NaBH for any of the reducing agent, right? Aldehyde on reduction, you will get primary alcohol. So the product is what? CH3, CHOH, single bond, CH2. CHO changes to CH2OH, converted to alcohol. Now you name the compound. Uh, alcohol is the major functional group. If both of the alcohol need to get lowest number, so 1, 2, 3, 4. Butane 1, 3, diol. Yes, butane 1, 3, diol. So first to do aldol condensation, then reduction. Okay, next one. Butane 2 enol. Here also our starting material is which one? CH3, CHO. Dear student, but we need total 4 carbon. So definitely first step is aldol condensation. Okay. So CH3, CHO. Okay. Reaction with dilute NaOH. Fine. What we have to do, dear student? Same, same things. Okay. Same thing. We have to get it here. CH3, CHOH, CH2, CHO. But what is the question? To convert but to enol. En double bond right we need a alkene dear student alcohol is there alcohol if it is there when it undergo dehydration it will give you alkene so let us uh, heat it with a concentrated sulfuric acid okay let us heat it with a concentrated uh, concentrated h2so4 on heating what happened dear student alcohol undergo dehydration you know alcohol let me take from the carbon and hydrogen i want to take from the near carbon you can take either this carbon hydrogen or this carbon according to states of rule we studied try to make the double bond in a more crowded area or more substituted area right so let me select the hydrogen always try to select the hydrogen from the uh, center okay means it will automatically changes to the crowded one or the substituted one so OH let me take from this carbon and hydrogen near carbon. So I want to make a double bond here. So product is CH3, CH double bond, CH single bond, CHO. Check it all of you. The product is correct or not? But yes, total four carbon. Uh, first carbon is aldehyde. Second position there is an alkene. But to enol. Correct. But to enoic acid. All right. Same question because but, but, but is needed, dear student. So but, if you need from ethanol, first step is no doubt aldol condensation. So dilute NaOH. Same product. Let me write CH3, CHOH, CH2, CHO. What do you need? Acid. But to en. So double bond is required. Okay, double bond we need. So let us do dehydration first of all. Okay, the same procedure here we have to follow. So this OH and H is eliminated. Make a double bond. We'll get the same product about uh, the case. Okay, now what we have to do dear today? In oic acid, this is enol now. In and aldehyde. The aldehyde we have to convert into acid. How we can convert aldehyde into acid? Through oxidation, right? You know, aldehyde... We just studied before Tollens test, right? 
During Tollens reaction, a aldehyde is converted to the corresponding acid. Let us use Tollens reagent also. What is Tollens reagent? AgNH3 twice plus because it is an oxidizing agent. Okay. So you will get the compound CH3, CH double bond, CH single bond, COOH. Carboxylic acid. Butyl 2 enoic acid. So careful, if you are starting aldehyde contain 2 carbon and your final product having 4 carbon, definitely you have to make aldol condensation first. Then as per your requirement, double bond or something, you have to do the propost. Next one. Write the structural formula and name of 4 possible aldol condensation products from propanol and butanol. Dear student, in this chapter you have studied 2 type of aldol condensation. One is normal aldol condensation, the other one is called cross aldol condensation. You know, aldol condensation means it is a reaction between two same aldehyde or two same ketone. But cross aldol condensation means it is the reaction between two different aldehydes or two different ketone, one aldehyde, one ketone, such kind of mixture. Here, propanol and butanol. So, they are two different aldehyde. We have to follow cross aldol condensation. Okay, cross aldol condensation. We are all cross aldol condensation. Normally, during a normal aldol condensation, which means two same aldehyde when react, you will get one single product. But cross aldol condensation while doing, you do you will get total four products. How four products? Here, what are the mixtures you are mixing? Propanol and butanol. Dear student. You consider the in a one of the test tube let me take propanol in another test tube let me take butanol okay and I'm mixing right and we are mixing together into another beaker so in the new beaker contain both propanol and butanol correct so in that final beaker we have various propanol many number of butanol right so what all combinations are possible Dear student, among that, one propanol can react with another propanol. Yes or no? Because so many particles are there. Second one, one butanol, one butanol can interact with another butanol. What is the third case? One propanol can interact with another butanol. What is the fourth combination? Propanol with a propanol, butanol with a butanol, and here propanol with a butanol. What is another combination? So you may think next combination we have butanol and propanol, but you think both are same, right? No, they are different. Okay, let us show that. So the one, uh, last one is butanol with which one? Propanol. How to write the final product in a simple way? All of you, please listen. There is a short idea. Propanol. Okay, the first two compound. Let me write. You know, propanol is CH3 CH. I'm going to write the final product. Okay, final product. After cross aldol condensation, final product we can write in a shortcut method. CH3. Propanol is CH3 CH2 CHO. The another propanol is which one? CH3 CH2 CHO. All right. This is propanol. How to write, dear student? A shortcut method. From the first two compound. Okay, you know this is the alpha carbon, right? From the first two compound, the two alpha hydrogen right below. Means, let me write CH2 like this one. CH2, let me write CH2. <coughs> from the first two compound, two alpha hydrogen right below, like this. And from the first two compound, can I write CHO group like this? CHO group like this, fine, right? Okay, so from the first aldehyde which you consider in which two alpha hydrogen right below and the second compound which you consider in which the oxygen you write above. Hope you clear why we wrote two hydrogen and oxygen here to remove H2O. So let us remove this H2O from the system and remaining if you clap together your final product is ready. Don't forget during cross aldol condensation also base is strong. Okay, how to write the product? I'm starting from here, this CH3, okay? CH3, CH2, what is left here? CH, double bond, right? Nothing to remove there, only water. Hmm? Double bond, this double bond, where it is connected? Where it is connected? Here, on this carbon. On this carbon, what we have? One CH3 and we have one CHO. This is the product. 
I'll show you with one another example. Second example, butanol. So butanol, I can write it as CH3, uh, CH2, CH2, CHO. As I told you on the alpha carbon, let me write the two alpha hydrogen below. And the second compound is again butanol in which let me write the aldehyde group like this. Okay, like this. What we have to remove, water we have to eliminate, remaining just together. I'm right, uh, starting from here. Okay, you can write from anywhere, no issue. I'm starting from here. CH3, CH2, CH2. What you have here? CH double bond. This double bond where it is connected here on this carbon. On this carbon, you have one ethyl group, one ethyl group, and one aldehyde. Similarly, you can write the other products also. So, third one. Propanol. I'm writing fast, dear all of you. Hope you clear the concept very well. And the second two alpha hydrogen, let me write like this. I mean, butanol is <coughs> all right. Remove this water, <coughs> combine them. Right? I think all products are different. You can check it. Okay. I, actually, they are asking the IUPAC name also. Just find out all of you. All the products are different actually. And what about butanol? The last one, butanol. CH3, CH2, CH, double bond C, CH2, CH3, CHO. Okay. Check it all of you. So during a cross aldol condensation, you will get total four products. All the four products will be the different one. Okay. Next one. An organic compound with the molecular formula C9H10O form 2,4-DNP derivative. You know, 2,4-DNP test is given by, it's an aldehyde, okay? So, let me take the compound C9H10O is the compound. We don't know the compound, that's a question. It form 2,4-DNP derivative, which means it is reacting with the 2,4-DNP test, which means, you know, 2,4-DNP test is given by aldehydes or ketones. So, we confirm that our compound is an aldehyde or ketone. And it reduces Tollens reagent. We studied just before Tollens reagent. Tollens reagent test is given by only aldehydes. Only aldehydes. So we confirm through the first information, we got it. Is it an aldehyde or ketone? But through the second uh, information, we got it. This is an aldehyde, not a ketone. All right. And undergo Kanizaro reaction. It undergo Kanizaro reaction. Dear student, Kanizaro reaction, if it want to undergo, you know, the, what is the best condition? What is the most condition? The aldehyde should not contain alpha hydrogen, right? So there is no alpha hydrogen. No alpha hydrogen. So this much data is clear. Kanizaro reaction on vigorous oxidation. It gives 1 to benzene. Vigorous oxidation means mostly we are using very stronger oxidizing agent like uh, alkaline KMnO4. On vigorous oxidation, it gives 1 to, okay, this is on oxidation. This is on oxidation giving 1 to benzene dicarboxylic acid. What is that? 1 to benzene, 1 to, 1 to benzene dicarboxylic acid. Mean 2 carboxylic acid group. Okay, fine. Enough, enough to get the idea. So, your compound C9H10O, it is clear it is a benzene contained compound. All right, it's a benzene compound. You see, there is a, not a large difference in carbon and hydrogen. Most cases, it will be benzene. Okay. Now, definitely it is an aldehyde. We confirm it is an aldehyde and the aldehyde no having alpha hydrogen. What is that aldehyde having no alpha hydrogen? Benzaldehyde. We discussed now before the benzaldehyde. This is the alpha carbon on which no alpha hydrogen. So first position aldehyde is there. Okay. 
But you see, dear student, on vigorous oxidation, it is giving you in the second position also carboxylic acid. You know very well, aldehyde on oxidation, aldehyde on oxidation, you will get carboxylic acid, right? So no doubt this as aldehyde can convert it to acid. But how they get one more COH group? Now you please check here the num uh, formula C9H10O. Dear student, C9. Now how many carbons are there in this compound? C9 means 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, right? Total 6 are there and 7. In benzaldehyde, you have only 7 carbon, but your compound contain 9 carbon. So where is the 2 remaining carbon? That is present here as CH2, CH3, right? Not here in this first compound. Here we have CH2, CH3. You please check the formula of the compound of this one. This is your compound C9H10O, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. How many hydrogen? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes, with one oxygen. So this is your compound. And this compound, you know, on vigorous oxidation, whatever the alkyl group on the benzene ring, it is directly converted to a single carboxylic acid if you are treating very strong oxidizing agent. So this is your compound. What is the name of this compound, dear student? This is number one. Number two. Which compound is this? So the compound is 2-ethyl, second position there is an ethyl group, 2-ethyl benzaldehyde, right? 2-ethyl benzaldehyde is the name of the compound. Next one, arrange the following in the increasing order of the property indicated. Very important question for your examination, dear all. Listen carefully. The starting material, let me write it, acetaldehyde. What is acetaldehyde? Ethanol means CH3CHO. What is acetone? Acetone is nothing but propanon. Acetone is nothing but propanon. Dear student, very carefully study the common names okay acetaldehyde is ethanol acetone is propanol ditertibutyl ketone what is ketone co group on which two tertibutyl are there what is tertibutyl ring dear student you know that this is the tertibutyl chain right so two tertibutyl groups are there all right so two tertibutyl on a ketone Next one, methyl tertibutyl ketone on a ketone group. One side is methyl, one side is tertibutyl. Okay, dear all, let's go for that. What is the reaction you need? What is the order you need? To the reactivity towards HCN. You have studied the first chemical properties of the aldehyde chapter or aldehyde and ketone is the nothing but nucleophilic addition reaction. Dear student, let me tell you the theory once. If you consider a aldehyde, okay, this is, uh, let me consider ethanol and this is a ketone propanol. Dear all, let me invite one of the nucleophile. You know, nucleophile is coming with a negative charge. You know, in this CO group, in, you know, CO group is called carbonyl group. It is there in the aldehyde and ketone. The aldehyde and ketone contains carbonyl group. This carbon carry a partial delta positive. This oxygen carry partial, sorry, negative charge. Why? The student, you know, carbon and oxygen, when you consider oxygen is more electronegative, so it carry negative charge, carbon carry positive charge. It's polar. So where this nucleophile, suppose I'm adding a nucleophile into the aldehyde and ketone, where this nucleophile can attack? Nucleophile will attack to the carbonyl carbon. Yes or no? When this nucleophile attack, this becomes O minus. This is what actually happening. So here also, this is the carbon with a partial positive, partial negative. Nucleophile can attack to this carbonyl carbon. But the question, if you consider aldehyde and ketone, where this reaction takes place so fast? Here the factor we are dealing with plus I effect, plus inductive effect. That is nothing but the presence of electron donating group and withdrawing group. Dear student, here we have alkyl group on nearby the carbonyl. You know, alkyl groups are electron donating group. Correct. So, when they donate electrons towards this carbon, what happens to the positive charge on carbon? It will decrease, right? Because it's giving electron. If this carbon with a greater positive charge, then only this nucleophile can attack. Because nucleophile is coming with a negative charge. If the carbon is highly positive, then only nucleophile can add there. But because of the presence of the alkyl group, it is decreasing the reactivity. So we can 
conclude that electron donating group will decrease the nucleophilic addition reaction. What about ketone? In ketone, left and right side both are electron donating group, dear all of you. So, what will happen? They are giving more electrons towards the carbon. So, positive charge on the carbon will be very less. So, nucleophile cannot attack there. So, let us conclude. Aldehydes are more reactive than ketones towards nucleophilic addition reaction. A nucleophile can add into the aldehyde so faster than ketone. So, let us go to the question. So, this is the compounds given here. All of you check here the reactivity. Whether they are asking increasing or decreasing order? Increasing order. Okay. First of all, you select which all are aldehyde and ketone because you know aldehydes are more reactive than ketone towards nucleophilic addition reaction. This is an aldehyde. Remaining all are ketones. So, no doubt this is the most reactive one. Okay. So, let me uh, number this system. Number 1, number 2, number 3, number 4. So, I can say the first one is more reactive. After that, which you compound? Dear student, this is a ketone. Here, methyl is there. Methyl is there. It will definitely reduce the reactivity. But you see the third and fourth compound. There are very big donating group. Yes or no? This is a tert-butyl. Tert this is a very bulky uh, electron donating group. So, their effect is very high. And here, one tert-butyl group and one methyl group. So, dear student, when you consider 2, 3 and 4, which one having little more reactivity? The second one. Because the electron donating power is lesser there. Right. Second one. After that, this is both are tert butyl group. So, they will give more electrons to the carbon. So, negative charge will be, sorry, the positive charge on carbon will be very less. Reactivity very less. So, third one having very less reactivity and fourth one having little greater than third one. So, 3, 4, 2, 1 will be the reactivity order. For aldehydes are, we will discuss one more question regarding the same thing. Let me conclude the point. Aldehydes are more reactive than ketones towards nucleophilic addition reaction okay next one the compounds are given what is the data acid strength okay dear all acid strength i'm just uh, marking the compound like this one ch3 ch2 ch br cooh first one ch3 ch br ch2 cooh second one CH3 twice. CH3 twice mean 2 CH3 group on the acid. Okay, dear student, let me take this is the compound number 1, compound number 2, compound number 3. Let us show that which is more acidic. You know, acidity mainly depends on two factor. Very keep in mind, acidity depends on two factor, electron donating group and electron withdrawing group. Electron donating group, they will decrease the acidity, okay? They will decrease the acidity, decrease the acidity. And electron withdrawing group can increase the acidity. Can increase the acidity. Okay, in the three compound, when you consider, first two compound having a halogen. You know, halogens are withdrawing group. Here also halogen withdrawing group. But here we have alkyl groups, right? All are alkyl groups. Alkyl groups are electron donating group. So, who, who can make more acidity? Definitely first and second because they contain electron withdrawing group. Electron withdrawing can increase the acidity. But the next confusion, among first and second, which one greater? Dear student, this is the acid group. Here bromine, the withdrawing group is very near to the acid. But here the bromine little away from the acid. So, where is the effect of the withdrawing group is greater here. So, its electron withdrawing group power is greater. Electron withdrawing group can increase the acidity. So, first one having greater than second one. Let us directly go for the third one is the least because it contains donating group. Donating group will decrease the acidity. Next one. Benzoic acid. Let me take the starting material as benzoic acid. You know benzene with a COOH. All right. 4 nitro benzoic acid. 4 nitro. 4 nitro benzoic acid. 4 nitro benzoic acid. Then 3, 5 di nitro benzoic acid. Okay. This is benzoic acid. 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 3, 5 dinitro. Alright. Numbers are correct, right? 
Number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 3 and 5. Dinitrobenzoic acid. One more is there 4 methoxybenzoic acid. 4 methoxybenzoic acid. 4 the position is this one. Methoxy mean OCH3. CH3. O. Methoxy. Dear student, let me take this number 1, number 2, number 3, number 4. Which one having more acidity? Just we discussed before the main reason. What is that? Whole or benzoic acid here. Just to check the group which is present here. This is a nitro group. Dear student, nitro group is a withdrawing group. They can increase the acidity. Here both two nitro groups are there. So uh, withdrawing group is more in number, more acidity. So 3 and 2 when you consider 3 is greater acidity. What about this one? Methoxy. Dear student, methoxy, alkyl group and alkoxy groups are which one? Electron donating group. They will decrease the acidity dear all. So, and first compound, no specific uh, factor affecting donating or withdrawing. We know withdrawing group, if it is there, acidity greater. So, third one greater because there are more withdrawing group than second one. After that, let us go with the first one. Because fourth one contain a donating group. If there is a donating group, they will decrease the acidity. So, fourth one having less, least one. 4, 1, 2, 3 is the acidity order. Give simple chemical test. Dear student, this is a most expecting question for your examination. Simple chemical test to distinguish between the following compound. Propanol. What is propanol? CH3, CH2, CHO. What is propanol? Propanol means CH3, CO, CH3. Which chemical test can be used to distinguish between these two compounds? Let us discuss the entire thing here. This is one aldehyde, this is one ketone. Dear student, if you want to distinguish a aldehyde from a ketone, we can use the test is called, we already discussed before, Tollens test or Tollens test is also known as what? Silver mirror test. Silver mirror test. Why? Because Tollens test is only given by aldehyde, not given by ketone. Okay, so you have to, when you are writing examination, you have to rewrite it. Just simply the name of the test is not enough. You should write Tollens test. And you have to say who can give the test. So you write it can give by propanol, not by propanol. Because Tollens test is given by only aldehydes. You can use one more method here that is called iodoform test. We studied no iodoform test. Dear student, iodoform test uh, is given by aldehydes and ketone. But they should contain which group? CH3CO group. If the compound contains CH3CO group, then only it can give iodoform test. So who can give iodoform test? Propanol, because that contains CH3CO group. So he can give iodoform test, but this compound doesn't contain that particular group, he can't. So you can write any one of the answer, okay, either tolerance test or iodoform test. Next one, acetophenone. What is acetophenone? Acetophenone is benzene with the COCH3. Ketone. What is benzophenone? Benzene with the CO. One more benzene. Benzene with the CO, CH3 is called acetophenone. Benzene with the CO, phenyl ring is called what? Uh, benzophenone. Which test can be used to distinguish between them? Just we discuss now iodoform test. Here we can use iodoform test. Why? Who can give the iodoform test here all? He can give the test because they contain CH3CO group. That group must be there in the compound. But it is not there. So it can't give the test. He will give iodoform test. You know iodoform color is yellow in color. Phenol and benzoic acid. What is phenol? Benzene with OH. Benzoic acid is benzene with COOH. You can use two tests here. You studied in the term 1 chapter alcohol, phenol and ether. Phenol can give a specific test that is called neutral ferric chloride test, right? Phenol, phenol which can give neutral, neutral FeCl3 ferric chloride test. It will give you a violet coloration, a violet coloration, a complex we studied before. So phenol, if you want to distinguish from any other compound, we can use neutral ferric chloride. So this is one of the answer. So phenol can give the violet color, benz uh, benzoic acid, no. Another one. Uh, benzoic acid, benzoic acid can give sodium bicarbonate test. You know, sodium bicarbonate is NaHCO3 test. Dear student, 
Any carboxylic acid you can distinguish from other compound by the test is called NaHCO3 test, sodium bicarbonate test. What is the observation you may study? When the carboxylic acid you treated with the sodium bicarbonate, you will get the brisk effervescence of carbon dioxide. You know, any acid when you treated with the sodium bicarbonate, sodium, you know, metal hydrogen carbonate, you will get salt, water and carbon dioxide. This carbon dioxide generated as a bubble, that's called brisk effervescence. Okay, so phenol you can distinguish from other compound through neutral ferric chloride. Benzoic acid you can distinguish, any, any acid, okay, any acid you can distinguish from other functional group by sodium bicarbonate test. Anything you can use it here. Next one, benzoic acid, again acid. All right, benzoic acid and ethyl benzoate. What is ethyl benzoate? It is an ester. Ethyl group means CH2, CH3. Benzoate means C6H5, COO. This is the ester. So one is acid, one is ester. Just we discussed before, what is that? So the acid, it can give sodium bicarbonate test. He will give the test, ester cannot. Pendant 2 on, pendant 3 on. Pre previous year question, dear student. What is pendant 2 on? Second position, there is a ketone. Okay, this is called pendant <coughs> 2 on. And uh, this is called pendant 3 on. All right. So here, second position. Here, we have third position, ketone. Okay. Which test can be used? The answer, we can write it as, uh, sorry, we can write it as iodoform test. What is that? Iodoform test. Pendant 2 on and pendant 3 on, we can distinguish bit, uh, by iodoform test. Why? Iodoform test, if it want to give, I told you it should contain CH3CO group. It is there in pendant 2 on, but pendant 3 on, it is not there. So it won't give the test. So pendant 2 on can give iodoform test, pendant 3 on, not. Benzaldehyde. Okay, benzaldehyde is which one? Benzene with the aldehyde group. Acetophenone. What is acetophenone? Benzene with the COCH3. Can we use iodoform test here all? Yes, we can use iodoform test. Iodoform test. Who, who can give iodoform test? This compound can give iodoform test because they contain CH3CO group. It can't. Last one, ethanol. Ethanol is which one? CH3CHO. And what is propanol? CH3, CH2, CHO. I think here also we can use which one? Iodoform test, right? Because this compound contain, ethanol contains CH3CO group. He can give iodoform test. That group is not there. He can't. Hope you clear. Brilliant Katha, your trusted coaching partner for IIT, JE, NEET, Science and Commerce students with 10 years of excellence in quality training. Brilliant Qatar.